What's up YouTube, this is Demkeys and this is going to be an AI tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to create basic enemy movement with functionality to change direction when you reach to a wall. Alright, so we're going to start by designing a small room. I'm going to speed this process up. Basically, I'm going to create a cube, make a couple of duplicates of it. One of the cubes is going to be the ground and the other four are going to be the walls. Alright, so our room is ready now. Next, create a capsule. Click game object, 3D object, capsule. Place the capsule near the ground. Next, add a rigid body component to the object and under constraints, freeze the rotation on X, Y and Z axis. Next, add a script, call it enemy AI 05 and open it up in mono develop. All right, first of all, create public float move force. This is gonna be the move speed of our enemy. Next, private rigid body, our body. This is gonna have a reference to our player's rigid body component. Next, public vector three move direction. This is going to be the direction that our enemy is gonna move in. We'll use this a little later. Next, public layer mask, what is wall. We'll use this later as well. Next, public float max distance from wall. All right, now before writing anything in the the update method let's create a function that will return a vector 3 so instead of void we'll write vector 3 and the name is choose direction inside the function write system.random ran equals new system.random then int i equals ran.next the parameters will be 0 and 3 so basically the next function is going to pick a random number between 0 and 3 it could be 0 or 3 as well just so you know and that value is going to be stored in i next vector 3 temp equals new vector 3 now if i is equal to 0 then temp should be transform.forward this is the direction that we are going to store into temp else if i is equal to one then temp should be negative transform dot forward which is basically transform dot back and then just copy this else if condition and make two duplicates of it if i is equal to two then temp should be transform dot right and if i is equal to three then transform should be negative transform dot right which is basically left and then finally return temp since this is not a void function it has to return its return type which is vector three now in the start function add a reference to the rigid body component and then set move direction to choose direction so that from the beginning itself our enemy will have a random direction and then in the update function write our body dot velocity equals move direction multiplied by move force and then if physics dot ray cast we are going to cast a ray from our player and the ray will be cast in the player's forward direction the max distance should be max distance from wall and the layer mask should be what is wall so what's happening here is a ray is going to be cast from the player's position in the player's forward direction and the length of the ray is only going to be whatever distance we specify in this variable and it's only going to return true if the object that the ray hits is under whatever layer we specify in this layer mask. So if it is true, that means our enemy has reached to a wall, which means that the enemy should now change its direction. So move direction equals choose direction, and then transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot look rotation. In the parameters, we are only gonna specify a parameter for forward, not for forward and upwards. So the parameter should be whatever value move direction currently holds. So what's gonna happen here is quaternion dot look rotation is going to create a rotation from the enemy's transform dot forward to whatever direction we specify and that rotation is going to be set in transform dot rotation all right so now we can save the script and go back to unity before we continue there is an error over here the error is caused because i created a private rigid body 2d instead of rigid body that's my mistake if you have done that as well change it and then save the script and go back to unity all right now before we continue we need to add a layer and set our walls under that layer so click layer Layer, add layer and create a new user layer call it obstacle and then select the four walls and set their layer property to obstacle now click the enemy and let's set the values for our variables move force should be 40 what is wall should be obstacle and the max distance from wall should be 5 so what's going to happen is when the enemy reaches 5 units away from the wall it's going to change direction we don't need to set the value of move direction because that's going to be set by our choose direction function and before we continue the 
there's one more thing I forgot to add in the script. Go back to the script and in the start function, add another line, which is this line, transform.rotation equals quaternion.lookRotation and move direction as a parameter. We are doing this because if we just change the direction and we, we don't set the rotation accordingly, the enemy's transform.forward is going to be pointing in a different direction, meaning that this ray is going to be cast in a different direction. And so the enemy is never going to change directions then. So hit save and go back to Unity and now hit play. I have the enemy selected in the scene. As you can see, the enemy is now changing direction automatically when it reaches five units away from the wall. If you don't see these handles changing direction, that's probably because your transform gizmo toggle is set to global instead of local. If it's set to global, just click it again. It's going to change to local and then you'll be able to see the handles changing direction. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you'd like to watch more tutorials, you can click in the top left corner of the screen and in the top right is a link to my music music channel where I post music that I make in my free time. In the bottom left corner you have a preview for a small game that I made. The links for the project and the game build are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.